an SBD-3 dive bomber of Bombing Squadron 6, on the deck of USS Yorktown. The aircraft was flown by Ensign G.H. Goldsmith and ARM-3 C.J.W. Patterson, Jr., during the June 4, 1942 strike against the Japanese carrier Akagi. Note the battle damage on the tail. The Battle of Midway was a turning point in the Pacific War before the Battle of the Coral Sea on 7-8 May 1942. The Imperial Navy of Japan had swept aside all of its enemies from the Pacific and Indian Oceans. Aircraft carrier USS Enterprise at Ford Island in Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, in late May 1942, being readied for the Battle of Midway. At the Battle of the Coral Sea, the Japanese won a tactical victory, but suffered an operational-level defeat. It did not invade Port Moresby in New Guinea and set up a base from which its land-based planes could dominate the skies over northern Australia however, the overall military initiative was still in the hands of the Japanese. TBD-1 torpedo bombers of Torpedo Squadron 6 unfold their wings on the deck of USS Enterprise prior to launching an attack against four Japanese carriers on the first day of the Battle of Midway. Launched on the morning of June 4, 1942, against the Japanese carrier fleet during the Battle of Midway, the squadron lost 10 of 14 aircraft during their attack. Their carrier striking force was still the strongest mobile air unit in the Pacific, and Admiral Isoroku Yamamoto, the Japanese fleet commander, hoped to use it to smash what remained of the U.S. View showing the stern quarter of the aircraft carrier USS Enterprise in the Pacific in 1942. Navy's Pacific Fleet Yamamoto's plan was to attack and then assault the two islands that make up the Midway Atoll. A Grumman F-4F-4 Wildcat fighter takes off from USS Yorktown on combat air patrol on the morning of 4 June 1942. This plane is number 13 of Fighting Squadron 3, flown by the squadron executive officer, LT, JG, William N. Leonard. Note .50 caliber machine gun at right, and mattresses hung on the lifeline for splinter protection. He reasoned that the U.S. The Japanese carrier Hiryu maneuvers to avoid bombs dropped by Army Air Force's B-17 Flying Fortresses during the Battle of Midway on June 4, 1942. Navy could not tolerate such an operation so close to its base in Hawaii, and he believed, correctly, as it happened, that what was left of the U.S. U.S. Navy LCDR Maxwell F. Leslie, commanding officer of bombing squadron VB-3, ditches in the ocean next to the heavy cruiser USS Astoria, after successfully attacking the Japanese carrier Saryu during the Battle of Midway on June 4, 1942. Leslie and his wingman LT, J.G., P.A. Holmberg ditched near Astoria due to fuel exhaustion after their parent carrier USS Yorktown was under attack by Japanese planes when they returned. Leslie, Holmberg, and their gunners were rescued by one of the cruiser's whaleboats. Note one of the cruiser's Curtis Sock Seagull floatplanes on the catapult at right. Pacific Fleet would sardi from Pearl Harbor and expose itself to the power of his carrier force, and his most powerful battleships Yamamoto wanted his carriers, led by Vice Admiral Chuchi Nagumo, to ambush any American carriers and surface ships that ventured to contest the Japanese attack and assault on Midway. Black smoke rises from a burning U.S. oil tank, set afire during a Japanese air raid on Naval Air Station Midway on Midway Atoll on June 4, 1942. American forces maintained an airstrip with dozens of aircraft stationed on the tiny island. The attack inflicted heavy damage, but the airstrip was still usable. Instead, he was ambushed by the three U.S. 
The VB-8SBD lands far off center, flying right over the head of the landing signal officer aboard USS Hornet during the Battle of Midway on June 4, 1942. Carriers, Yorktown, Enterprise, and Hornet, that had steamed north and west from Hawaii in just one day, 4 June 1942, Admiral Nagumol lost his four carriers to the air units of his American opponents, while you. Japanese Type 97 shipboard attack aircraft from the carrier Hiryu amid heavy anti-aircraft fire during the torpedo attack on USS Yorktown in the mid-afternoon of June 4, 1942. At least three planes are visible, the nearest having already dropped its torpedo. The other two are lower and closer to the center, apparently withdrawing. Smoke on the horizon in right center is from a crashed plane. S Naval Forces lost only one carrier, Yorktown, in return. Smoke rises from the USS Yorktown after a Japanese bomber hit the aircraft carrier in the Battle of Midway on June 4, 1942. Bursts from anti-aircraft fire filled the air. Why was Midway such a critical victory? First, the fact that the U.S. Seen on board USS Yorktown, shortly after she was hit by three Japanese bombs on June 4, 1942. The dense smoke is from fires in her uptakes, caused by a bomb that punctured them and knocked out her boilers. Panorama made from two photographs taken by photographer Two Road Class William G. Roy from the starboard side of the flight deck just in front of the forward 53 38th gun gallery. Man with hammer at right is probably covering a bomb entry hole in the forward elevator. Navy lost just one carrier at Midway meant that four carriers, Enterprise, Harnet, Saratoga, and Wasp, were available when the U.S. Black smoke pours from the aircraft carrier Yorktown after she suffered hits from Japanese aircraft during the Battle of Midway on June 4, 1942. Navy went on the offensive during the Guadalcanal campaign that began the first week of August 1942 second. The march of the Imperial Japanese Navy across the Pacific was halted at Midway and never restarted. A Japanese Type 97 attack aircraft is shot down while attempting to carry out a torpedo attack on USS Yorktown during the mid-afternoon of 4 June 1942. After Midway, the Japanese would react to the Americans and not the other way around in the language of the Naval War College, the operational initiative had passed from the Japanese to the Americans. Navy fighters during the attack on the Japanese fleet off Midway in June of 1942. At center a burning Japanese ship is visible. Third, the victory at Midway aided Allied strategy worldwide. That last point needs some explaining. The Japanese aircraft carrier Saryu maneuvers to avoid bombs dropped by Army Air Force's B-17 Flying Fortresses during the Battle of Midway on June 4, 1942. To understand it, begin by putting yourself in the shoes of President Franklin Roosevelt and Prime Minister Winston Churchill at the beginning of May 1942 the military outlook across the world appears very bad for the Allies. The heavily damaged, burning Japanese aircraft carrier Hiryu, photographed by a plane from the carrier Hasho shortly after sunrise on June 5, 1942. Hiryu sank a few hours later. Note collapsed flight deck over the forward hangar. The German army is smashing a Soviet offensive to regain Kharkov and soon will begin a drive to grab the Soviet Union's oil supplies in the Caucasus a German and Italian force in North Africa is threatening the Suez Canal. Flying dangerously close, a U.S. Navy photographer got this spectacular aerial view of a heavy Japanese cruiser of the Majima class, 
demolished by Navy bombs in the Battle of Midway in June of 1942. Armor plate, steel decks and superstructure are a tumbled mass. The Japanese have seriously crippled the Pacific Fleet, driven Britain's Royal Navy out of the Indian Ocean, and threatened to link up with the Germans in the Middle East. If the Japanese and the Germans do link up, they will cut the British and American supply line through Iran to the Soviet Union, and they may pull the British and French colonies in the Middle East into the Axis orbit. The USS Yorktown lists heavily to port after being struck by Japanese bombers and torpedo planes in the Battle of Midway on June 4, 1942. A destroyer stands by at right to assist as a salvage crew on the flight deck tries to right the stricken aircraft carrier. If that happens, Britain may lose control of the eastern Mediterranean and the Soviet Union may negotiate an armistice with Germany even worse, the Chinese, cut off from aid from the United States, may also negotiate a ceasefire with the Japanese. Crewmen of the USS Yorktown picked their way along the sloping flight deck of the aircraft carrier as the ship listed heavily, heading for damaged sections to see if they can patch up the crippled ship in June of 1942. For Churchill, there is the added and dreaded prospect that the Japanese may spark a revolt that will take India from Britain something has to be done to stop the Japanese and force them to focus their naval and air forces in the Pacific, away from the Indian Ocean and, possibly, the Arabian Sea. After Japanese bombers damaged the USS Yorktown, crewmen climbed down ropes and ladders to small boats that transferred them to rescue ships, including the destroyer at Wright, on June 4, 1942 in the Pacific Ocean. Later, a salvage crew returned to the abandoned ship, and as she made progress toward port, a torpedo from a Japanese submarine destroyed and sank the Yorktown. Midway saves the decision by the Americans and British to focus their major effort against Germany, and the American and British military staff are free to plan their invasion of North Africa the U. The United States destroyer Hamman background, on its way to the bottom of the Pacific after having been hit by a Japanese torpedo during the Battle of Midway in June of 1942. The Hammond had been providing auxiliary power to damaged USS Yorktown while salvage operations were underway. The same attack also struck the Yorktown, which sank the following morning. Crewmen of another U.S. warship, foreground, line the rail as their vessel stands by to rescue survivors. S Navy and Marines also begin planning for an operation on Guadalcanal against the Japanese. A U.S. seaman, wounded during the Battle of Midway, is transferred from one warship to another at sea in June of 1942. As Rear Admiral Raymond Spruance, one of the Navy's carrier task force commanders at Midway, Put it after the battle, we had not been defeated by these superior Japanese forces midway to us at the time meant that here is where we start from, here is where we really jump off in a hard bitter war against the Japanese. Japanese prisoners of war under guard on Midway, following their rescue from an open lifeboat by USS Ballard on June 19, 1942. They were survivors of the sunken aircraft carrier Hiryu. After being held for a few days on Midway, they were sent on to Pearl Harbor on June 23rd, aboard USS Sirius. Note his words, here is where we start from, Midway, then, was a turning point, but by no means were the leaders of Japan and Germany ready to throw in the towel at the same time as the Battle of Midway was taking place a Japanese aircraft carrier strike force thousands of miles to the north was attacking the Aleutian Islands of Alaska. Bleak, mountainous Atu Island in Alaska 
had a population of only about 46 people prior to the Japanese invasion. On June 6, 1942, a Japanese force of 1,100 soldiers landed, occupying the island. One resident was killed in the invasion, the remaining 45 were shipped to a Japanese prison camp near Ateru, Hokkaido, where 16 died while in captivity. This is a picture of Atu village situated on Chichigaf Harbor. After bombing Dutch Harbor, Japanese forces seized the tiny islands of Atu and Kiska. It was the first time since the War of 1812 that American soil had been occupied by an enemy. On June 3, 1942, a Japanese aircraft carrier strike force launched air attacks over two days against the Dutch Harbor Naval Base and Fort Mears in Dutch Harbor, Alaska. In this photo, bombs explode in the water near Dutch Harbor during the attack on June 4, 1942. The Japanese dug in and held the islands until mid-1943, when American and Canadian forces recaptured them in brutal invasions the campaign is known as the Forgotten Battle. U.S. forces watch a massive fireball rise above Dutch Harbor, Alaska after a Japanese airstrike in June of 1942. Military historians believe it was a diversionary or feigned attack during the Battle of Midway, meant to draw out the U.S. Defending Dutch Harbor, Alaska during the Japanese air attacks of June 3-4, 1942. Pacific Fleet from Midway Atoll, as it was launched simultaneously under the same commander, Isoroku Yamamoto. Some historians have argued against this interpretation, believing that the Japanese invaded the Aleutians to protect their northern flank and did not intend it as a diversion. Bombing of SS Northwestern and oil tanks in Dutch Harbor, Alaska, by Japanese carrier-based aircraft on June 4, 1942. Photo credit, U.S. U.S. soldiers fight a fire after an air raid by Japanese dive bombers on their base in Dutch Harbor, Alaska, in June 1942. Navy Library of UNRWA.